spare a thought for Joe. Josephine Niverson. The artist, who died in 1968, made two mistakes in her life. The first was to marry the artist Edward Hopper. You know him, he of Nighthawk's fame, as well as those rather sinister, voyeuristic pictures of women's bums seen from the opposite window. They married when they were both in their early 40s. She was already an artist on the scene in New York, and he was working as an illustrator. Joe had won a show at the Brooklyn Museum of her watercolours, and she persuaded them to include Edward's work. He made a sale from that show and parlayed the success into getting a dealer who represented him for the rest of his life. Meanwhile, Joe's career floundered. Edward did nothing to encourage her, disliking all she did, and refusing to use his own influence to help her forward. While all the time she diligently posed for him and kept meticulous records of the great man's output. It was even a practice to start a a landscape painting herself to help kick-start Edward, who frequently suffered from painter's block. She died after Hopper, and not having anyone to advise her, she bequeathed their combined work to the Whitney Museum in New York, an extraordinarily generous act, which turned out to be her second big mistake. Now, you might be wondering what her art was like. I mean, it will be interesting to see how much they collaborated with each other, influenced each other. Could her art stand on its own? Surely that would be of interest. Well, after she died, the Whitney, reflecting the prevailing male attitude to female artists then, kept Hopper's paintings and got rid of all hers. And that was that. Joe was written out of art history. So next time you see a Hopper, spare a thought for Joe. The artist, Joe Niverson Hopper. I put in a link to the original article on Joe Hopper by Gail Levine, whose books on Hopper I've been reading for years. Fantastic books. Um, as always, uh, please subscribe if you want to see more art stories and take care.